Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today we're going to review an 18 foot Sun Tracker bass buggy. Okay, so this is a Sun Tracker. 18 foot bass buggy DLX comes on a Sun Tracker trailer. The trailer does have surge brakes on it, so uh, you'll notice it has the seven pin plug, not my four way flat because of the, the braking system. Has a dolly wheel from when we set her down. There's a nice ladder uh, to climb up onto the boat. Of course, Harley's checking it out. Nice bunks under there, double sets to rest, uh, and that keeps it in place. There's a transom saver on here. And then you can see it has 14 inch wheels. The trailer did not come with a spare. There is a mounting area for the spare right here underneath. And I do have the exact same rim and tire from a previous trailer, so I do have a spare for it. And you can see underneath the trailer has internal bunks also to keep those logs in place. And of course, the winch. So that's the Sun Tracker trailer that comes with it. Now let's take a look at the boat. We'll start, uh, you know, it has two pontoons underneath it, it's not a tri tune. Uh, it has a nice decking material. It's a vinyl, rubber vinyl material. It's easy to wash. I don't like carpet on boats. It has the safety side panels on there. It does have the corner cleats on it. Uh, two in the bow, two in the stern. This, of course, we don't need a bilge pump in a pontoon boat, but this particular pump sucks up the water for the two, that's correct, there are two live wells in this boat and that's what feeds the water and oxygenates it. And we also have a GPS depth finder and that is of course the sending device that we would need for that. Got, the gas tank is uh, mounted in here and it's uh, is a 38 gallon fuel tank. So with this four stroke mo motor, that's gonna last a long time. And that mounts in this tube it is an electric trim, 20 horsepower, four stroke Mercury. Now, the last 18 foot pontoon boat I had, um, I had a 50 horse on there. But in Pennsylvania, uh, some of the lakes that are power restricted, the max is 20 horse. This will allow us to use it on Blue Marsh and Lake Nakamixon and the other uh, unlimited power uh, lakes. But Naka Mixon has a 20 horse limit, this would work. Also, uh, this boat was purchased with a grant funding from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Uh, so this boat is owned by Alvernia University and uh, the Alvernia Fishing Club and the RMA Club all contributed to make this happen. We will be using this boat to take inner city middle school kids out fishing on the lake. So that's the purpose of this boat. And we're really grateful for that grant from, it's the R3 grant program through Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Uh, so cost was a factor. So 20 horsepower was you know about all we could come up with, but it'll get us around. So I run regular gas in them. I don't put ethanol in boats. Uh, here's your ladder to get on and off the boat once you're in the water. Uh, and of course, here's another cleat and you do have a little platform outside here. Has a bimini top, the stern light. And of course, the side panels all the way around. And here you see the other uh, cleat. These are actually the bow lights. So the, the starboard and the port light. Uh, are separate on this particular boat for the bow lights. Okay, when we climb up here, so to open the gate, you just lift up on it. 
turn it. So we have two chairs in the bow that swivel measuring device for the fish and of course these are dry storage containers with a rod holder and a drink holder on each side you can see that the seat swivel completely around there's also a side door for when you're at the dock you can get in and off the dock on uh, on this little cushion area there's dry storage underneath here on both of those captain's chair we have a helix uh, depth finder and GPS unit hummingbird for on here it does have RPM monitor for the motor and a fuel tank uh, there's a light here on the side there's also uh, lights for underneath here to illuminate it there's a stereo on the boat more cup holders place for the key we've got light switches over here um, the horn the um, aerator is also there throttle and transmission control fire extinguisher down there and of course we have the bimini top which we can flip up it does come with a nice cover there is another seat in the back we got rod holders there this is live well so you can see we can run water into that battery storage is here there is the cranking battery uh, under here under the console is a battery box if you want to put a trolling motor on this boat you can hook it in there and that's pre-wired back for a second battery Underneath the, the forward console seat is another live well, so there's two live wells on the boat. Uh, set of rod holder, uh, rod and equipment holder here, pliers, things like that. A really nice boat, and we're really looking forward to getting everybody trained and the boat ready for our grant program and to get kids uh, exposed to uh, lake fishing off a boat. We think it'll really allow those students, those kids to uh, appreciate the outdoors and to uh, become lifelong boating and fishing enthusiasts in the state of Pennsylvania. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And give the video a thumbs up, that helps too. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.